You will need two 10 by 10 by 1 8 inch square steel plates. Drill four 1 quarter inch holes at each outside corner on the center point of the spokes. See the red circles. Drill four 5 16 inch holes between the quarter inch holes on the center point of the spokes. See the purple circles. Drill a 1 inch hole in the center of the steel plate. Using a step drill bit would make drilling the one inch hole easier. The four holes around the center hole will not be used. Drill the quarter inch holes one and a half inches in from the corner of the steel plate. See the diagram on the right. Drill the five sixteenth inch holes one and five eighths inch from the outside edge of the steel plate. See the diagram on the right. Place the steel plate over the wooden dial. The four outside quarter inch quarter holes should line up with the center of each spoke. The four holes between the quarter inch holes should line up with the center of each spoke. Place four support boards under the water wheel. Make sure the wheel is stabilized. Place the steel plate over the wooden dial. Align the steel plate so the four corners are in the center of the spokes. Outline the edges of the steel plate with the blue painter's tape. Remove the steel plate. Caulk the joints around the spokes. Let the caulk dry for 24 hours. Apply a waterproof wood sealer to the area inside the blue tape. Let the sealer dry for 24 hours. Use an oil-based enamel metal paint with primer.
Let the paint dry for four hours. Turn the steel plates over and paint the other side. Let the paint cure for 24 hours. Insert the 36 inch metal shaft into the center hole. Turn the drive shaft collar upside down and slide it down the shaft. Slide the steel metal plate on top of the drive shaft collar. Align the steel plate so the four corners are in the center of the spokes. Mark the four 5 inch hole locations on the drive shaft collar with a Sharpie pen. Make sure the holes are clearly marked. Remove the steel plate. Remove the drive shaft collar. Make sure the holes are clearly marked. Drill 5 16 inch holes at each mark. Caution, stabilize the drive shaft collar with a piece of wood. Be sure to watch part 3. I will show you how to install the steel plate and drive shaft collar. Thanks for watching. <laughs>